second time in a month, thieves target an Irvington church. Once again, they left a van for Irvington Presbyterian Church unusable after stealing the catalytic converter. But this time, there's something the church has that they hope can help catch the criminal. Fox 59's Mike Sullivan spoke to the church about their plans now. The decisions we make can have a larger impact on people. Just a small crime can have numerous victims. The realization that maybe these people were going to miss Easter after having been away from church for over a year, it, it hit pretty hard. For associate pastor Maureen Wilson. This will be our fifth week, I believe. That her congregation has returned in person to worship at Irvington Presbyterian Church. They sat in pews a couple behind me. They were really excited. Especially their vaccinated seniors, some of whom. They weren't allowed to leave their rooms. Instead, resorting to watch Wilson's virtual worship at their nursing home. I heard tell of members meeting in secret in the basement to watch the online service together. Typically, the church shuttles those members to services with their bus. Friday, two days before Easter Sunday, I got a call from our senior pastor that the catalytic converter had been stolen, and my heart just sank. That was the second time in four weeks. We have pictures of this truck from the security cameras. What appears to be a white pickup. They were in and out, it seems like under under four or five minutes knowing what they were doing. Yet what they didn't realize was the consequences of those actions. We have uh, members who volunteered to drive out to Pendleton to pick them up, bring them, and then, and then we'll take them back. And sadly for now, this is their new norm. In Irvington, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News.